Hi everyone, today I'll be explaining to you on how to download an app and set up a demo account so that you can start training with FX pairs and CFDs. FX stands for foreign currency, whereas CFD stands for contracts for differences. Uh, in today's lecture, I'll be only explaining you on how to set up an account and how to download an account and in the future I'll be teaching you more on how to trade, how to use the market and pending orders, um, how to come up with the best strategy for a particular instrument, how to minimize losses and which is more important, how to avoid most common traps. Before we proceed, I would like to emphasize that I'm not affiliated or related or working representing any brokerage firm or mm, market maker the sole purpose of this video and future materials and videos to come is just to teach and educate you okay so let's go let's proceed so uh, now as you can see the phone that I'm using is an Android one if you are having an iPhone the process will be pretty much the similar exceptions that you have to locate the very same app in Apple Store, not in Play Store. But for the rest part, it's the same. The same app, the same logic, and so on. So here, we go to Play Store. Sorry. Okay, and uh, it's already here, but okay. We have to type here, MetaTrader. Okay, so when you type MetaTrader, you will see an option to download MetaTrader 5. Uh, I if you're a newbie or fairly new to these markets, I would strongly encourage you to stick with MetaTrader 4 and in the future lectures I'll be explaining you why MetaTrader 4 is better if you are like, new to this market. Okay, so we uh, click MetaTrader 4, click install and wait. The process should take just a few seconds because the app is just just like 6.6 .6 megabytes so we're all good to go so we're opening the app and when we open up uh, when we are opening the app for the first time the the MetaTrader 4 app will offer us will automatically um, register a demo account for us with MetaQuotes which also So you can see so opening a demo account automatically I'm not pressing any buttons at all so it opened a demo account with meta quotes uh, which is the same provider uh, technically we're all good to go we see the quotes here we can start trading we can like start any orders and go sell or buy and so on uh, the only thing I would like to mention is that if you have a particular broker in mind with whom you might be trading with your real money, don't uh, I mean don't train on this account or the account provided by MetaQuotes, and uh, not not because this one is worse or better, but just because different providers uh, offers different uh, types of spreads and different leverage options. So now you can see that. Um, in meta quotes in the meta quotes spreads are they are not fixed they're floating they fluctuate you, you can see they're widening or tightening in the future we'll be explaining why it's happening and so on but as of now like uh, some brokers might offer you fixed spreads let's say you are interested in broker a b c d e f and this broker offers you a fixed spread and then if you are learning uh, on this platform with a spread with a f uh, floating spread you'll be confused when you will start trading your real money with a broker who offers you the fixed spreads so that's the first thing to uh, note and the second thing is that different providers will have different leverage options and that's why again you should I'm repeating myself but again you should use the very same broker with whom you might be trading with your real money if you are not thinking of trading with your real money anytime soon you can just stick with the meta, meta quotes that's all fine okay but let's say you are having in mind you you'll be trading with a particular broker 
So how you should locate and set, set up a demo account with that broker. So as you can see in the left up, cor in the left up corner, we have this uh, button here. We'll click on that. And here we can see manage accounts at the very top. So we click here and now we see um, overview of our current account. So the provider is MetaQuotes Demo. MetaTrader 4 Androidium is the name of the app. And that amount, like 100,000, that's how much we have on your demo account. Now, uh, you can see the pl this plus button in the right top. You click on that. You have two options, opening a demo account or logging to an existing account. Uh, most probably if you are watching this video, you have never traded. Or even if you have an existing account, the chances are that you are not, you don't remember the passwords. So that's why you should go with the first option, opening a demo account. However, if you have an account, let's say you are trading on some with some brokers, but you have traded using your personal computer, and now you want to use the same broker, you want to use the same account, but uh, from your smartphone, then you should go with the second option, logging into an existing account. But okay, let's take a default, um, I mean the default thing so that we have never traded, we don't know nothing about Forex market and we just wanna launch a demo account with a company with whom we might be opening a real uh, account, like the real account with real money in the foreseeable future. So now we click on the first option, opening a demo account. Okay, so now all we need to do is just to locate the broker. Okay, like I don't want to advertise any of these brokers, that's why I'm going with the first three letters of the alphabet. So A, B, C. Here you go. There is a there is a company I've never which I've never heard of. I don't know what that company is doing, where it's located, and so on. So okay, as you can see, this company offers you uh, two servers: one uh, for demo clients, another one for live clients. Uh, in the future lectures, I'll be explaining you why. Uh, the providers differentiate between live and demo accounts because theoretically if they are not hiding anything they can just offer one account like one server to maintain all accounts both real and demo ones but uh, that's just for thoughts I mean it, in the future we'll be touching on that okay now let's say we click on demo so now here you need to like enter your requisites your name phone number email and that's it and then pick up the leverage option like say these guys they're offering you the, the i mean it's ranging from one to one up to one to 100 uh, just one thing here if you just interested in some broker but you haven't yet uh, decided if you will be trading with them or not then i would strongly encourage you not to put your real phone number or real email because otherwise you'll you might be you might be getting calls or few emails from them, which could be pretty annoying. That's what most brokers do. Unfortunately, so just keep in mind, if you decide that you'll be trading with them, okay, that's fine. Just put your real information. If not, just think twice. <laughs> and the final remark. So, uh, some brokers, as you can see, like this broker, for instance, it offers us, we can choose between leverages, right? One, one to 100, up to like all the way down to one to one. What some brokers and like market makers do, they give you flexibility to choose a leverage option uh, in a demo account. However, when you start trading with your real money, you don't have this flexibility to pick between like this. So you will have only one default option. So why I'm saying that? Because you need to make sure that uh, a demo account will have the same leverage as your real account, as your prospective real account. Just make sure. If, I mean, if a broker doesn't offer you the, the same leverage option as would be in a real account, in its demo account, think twice before starting working with this broker. With this in mind, that's all for today. Thanks for watching me. Please share all your comments, suggestions, complaints. And in future videos, I'll be explaining you more about technical parts on how to actually use market and pending orders where to get the news, how to analyze markets, and so on. Okay, once again, thank you so much.